Overgrown would be the polite way to describe the state of one backyard on Detroit's east side. Some, like the senior citizen living next door, call it dangerous, and he's been asking for help to address it. The story takes us to the 4600 block of Benetou. Uh, Victor Williams is there live tonight. Victor, uh, looks like something is finally being done here. Yeah, well, crews just left after we call up the city and take a look at the result. This is the backyard that's right next door to Mr. Holloway, and we've been talking to him for quite some time. He tells me prior to them taking care of this, it was the worst it's ever been. It said I have to live next door to this. You've heard from 65-year-old Kenny Holloway time and time again about the overgrown backyard at the vacant house next door. You got a, a truck that's been back there. You can't even see it because it's a suburban truck and the grass and, and the weed and everything that grew over it. It's worse now than it was before. But this time he said he's had enough. Once again, the vegetation is so out of control, you would think he's living next door to the Amazon. The house itself isn't that much better either. The house is terrible. I mean, uh, the roof falling, caving in, the uh, foundation is, is bad on the inside. Not to mention the front being an eyesore as well with all types of animals coming from the home. We got cats and animals going up under the steps, uh, uh, having kittens and stuff. They coming over in my yard. Thankfully, the city is here to take care of the problem again, cleaning the place and mowing the grass that's so high it was close to pushing Mr. Holloway's entire fence over. And it's sad. I have to call you guys in order to get the ball to rolling. You know, we went through this before. But he's hoping more can be done so he doesn't find himself looking at a jungle every few weeks. He says he's been to every single city council meeting on the matter. We're down there every Tuesday, and it seemed like they hear us, but they don't hear us. Despite nearly $1,000 in fees and fines, the previous owner never did anything. The notice has been up here for the for the uh, longest up there. Now it looks like the home is in foreclosure. Either way, Mr. Holloway thinks things will be better with the house gone altogether. The house really needs tearing down. They just, it's neglecting us over here in our own community as taxpayers. And it's darn shame we have to live like this. And as you guys can see, that vehicle has also been removed. They took the grass all the way down to the dirt in hopes that it won't come back anytime soon. But with this place now being foreclosed, I'm told that Wayne County is going to be the ones responsible also in a way for keeping this up. So that should make maintenance a whole lot easier as well. Victor Williams, Local 4. I'm sure those neighbors are hoping that is the case. Victor, we appreciate your report tonight.